Cincinnati, Jax. Let's go, okay. What's up? What's happening? I'm back on the grind, gotta get this. Gonna build up, no Tetris. Fan base, gotta blow it up this year. Everybody hating, better fall back. With this music, year. I didn't start listening to music till I was like 12 years old, really. When it came to like hip hop, you know, picking up an Eminem CD, like having my parents like not want me to listen to it, trying to hide it from me until they knew I was of age where I was gonna sneak it back, that kind of thing. But the area, like my area around me didn't influence me too much until I got into high school because that's when a lot of people were freestyling for fun on lunch break. It was kind of the thing, if you wanted to have a try for it, you'd try in a cypher or something like that at school. But for me, like to get influenced, it was more like the high school kids around me and a, a lot of people just rapping around me that kind of influenced me. It wasn't really my area, it was just my high school atmosphere and just the people that kind of motivated, uh, motivated me. You have no choice but to be creative. I think it's obviously the most important thing about music in my opinion. When I got involved in this, I wanted to I wanted to write lyrics and have flows that were very unique. I wanted to be I was very picky on my beat selection because I just wanted to be I wanted to be in a different lane. I want to take, you know, like classic rock samples and I want to take, I want to bring like hard dubstep. I, I don't want to have limits. So being creative, I think it's just being really versatile. Like if you have to go in three or four different genres and bring them in with hip hop roots, I think that's important because you have people like Drake, they're doing it on a major level. He has his like pop style and he pretty much started his own style just with the lyrics and the flows and the the type of topics he touched up on so I think it's 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 probably the most important thing when it comes to music you have to be creative you have to in an early stage you really have to set yourself aside from everyone else and you just have to keep going with that because you have to find you have to find your lane that's de definitely something like in all the production I'm working on like this upcoming like free EP it's definitely how uh, the production is different I have some live instruments being recorded for it and I think that's a good thing because that gets people listening that gets them playing back the track and wondering what was that instrument like I didn't think he was capable of that so that's definitely important it's something that I do plan to do and I have going on in the process of the production for my album and yeah it's a very important part and it's it definitely gets people listening again and if they're really impressed you know that's how music gets passed on and the chance to go viral when it comes to recording I just like I'm pretty laid back, like I don't really have to have a closed off area, like I can, friends can come, like I don't mind recording in front of a lot of people, so, I don't know, I kind of like, I just like my close friends to be there, because I want them to know what I'm onto and what I'm recording and that kind of thing, and for live show, it's kind of just like, interacting with the crowd, letting the crowd have a say in the show. And just bringing new things to the show. Like before, I was doing shows just with my beats and my DJ. Now I have a, a guitarist, so that's one thing to start out with. Bringing more live instruments, and just uh, I think live instruments gets anyone in the zone more. You know, having that live feel, because beats is one thing, just playing your beats from a DJ. But having more instruments involved, like kind of like improvising with them, is the kind of thing that I think gets me in the zone for performing at least. It's being unique, being versatile, and just really going hard at what you do and just pushing it to the limits, you know, like instruments at live shows, just going really hard because every time you're in front of a crowd, it's about setting an example, it's about really showing your skills and really going wild and bringing what you can to the table. So, like, for someone to become, like, just to really go into it and, like you said, legendary, it's just like, it's about... I think it's really about standing out the most. My family and friends are actually really supportive. Like a lot of my close friends are the people who promote my stuff. My manager is a longtime friend, and my family. My mom, she she's posting Facebook links all the time, YouTube links. She's really supportive of my my stepfather and like all my family. They're just hoping for the best. They hear some of my uh, more I guess vulgar lyrics on some of the party records, but I guess uh, my grandparents don't really pick up onto it too much. So that's kind of its own thing. But they're really uh, they're supportive uh, really supportive they just they're hoping for the best you know my mom's at the show tonight so they're really supportive and they know that uh, if this does happen on a more major level they know that I'll be grounded and I'm mature to what to get into and not to oppose of going on the road and that kind of thing just unique and something that you'll remember because I have to say it like that because it's like like just in Toronto right now to claim the Toronto fan base it's like right now it's very it's street rap and then there's people doing different things, so I'd have to say that because it's definitely something they can go away after saying, like, I've never heard that before and something they definitely might want to look into more. Yo, it's good? It's your boy Maddie Jacks here at the DC Music Theater. You're with Hidden City Sounds. Do what you love.